Hi friends, today we will be discussing about grasslands ecosystem. So these are the different types of ecosystem already discussed about forest ecosystem. Now we will be discussing about grassland ecosystem. Grassland ecosystem. Grasslands are characterized by tall or short grasses, herbs and shrubs. Grasslands are the full tradition of the Grasslands cover area where rainfall is usually low. In India, true grasslands are not found as they have been mostly developed in a secondary form by the destruction of forests for long roads and overgrazing. In this month, the grasslands are not found. In India, the grasslands are not found. Forest in the destruction is the same. As the other, the other one is the full production. That is the prolonged droughts. The world is the same. The other one 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 Overgrazing. Appiavisham Chedilaki Ola Pradesham Abade overgrazing on the Shalamida Mata, Kanaliola Kondona, teaches in the Palamaita, other cherry or full Pradesh of Maita, Maria Dadika. Even Akiola, full Pradesh and Lan, India Lola. Grasslands are an excellent source of fodder for the herbivorous animal and domestic cattle. Grasslands and the Varanyal, herbivorous animals, Sasya Hari Lightula, Ragana like Sambandi, excellent. It to Nigatsa Ridila, Ahar Nalguna, Uri Pradesh and Tanyana. Avatula Ahar Avade under Grass are our Dahara, another water the name, grasslands are the Sambandi Chedi, order, food and Alguna Pradana Solsana. And domestic cattle, Angula Tanyana. We do not look at water to the Kanna Ali welcome. Our day, I had the Nolo, excellent source of Nigit's source on a grasslands and in the full provision. The various components of grassland ecosystem. In grassland, grassland ecosystem in the components in the Kianamoka. Biotic components. Grasslands are not diversity rich. Their biotic components can be classified in the following types. The ecosystem components in a biotic components in them, a biotic components in the classified shape it under. Biotic components on the world and living organisms on a grasslands in the article editing angle. We with the thyrotin on the biotic components of the carnapilla. Biotic components in a knocking and a generally order classified thing produces. The primary producers making food are grasses, but the herbs and shrubs, other than grasses, also contribute into the primary production of food. But the producers in the Varanar, Ariama laboratory components in the Angana classify Chedi together. Producers, the consumers, decomposers, and already in the forest ecosystem in Padisaran. But what the producers in the Varanar, Pradana Martin grasses in Angana, equal working on Tiny and out of the day. Primary producers. This is the food. 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 And several other small animals. Primary consumers on the Varanel, Podwe, Sasia Hale, Nerita, Ahara Makuna animals on a Sasia Hari Lightrilla animals. Cow, goat, rabbit, mouse, the Kia catcher, Lulpert and the Viana, the Vola Matizilla, Cheria animals in Anaka Virunda, insects, Voriola, Chella, Cheria animals, the primary consumers in Virunda. That is the secondary consumers. These are primary carnivorous animals that feed on herbivores. 
platform and examples are jokers, hoaxes, etc. Secondary consumers on the world, herbivores in a higher market. Pradana Maitum, jokers, hoaxes, and love, you can achieve a tertiary consumers in grasslands, hoaxes. Eagles, vultures, sometimes tigers, leopards constitute the panel of tertiary consumers. The tertiary consumers are the hawks, eagles, vultures, tiger, leopards. Tertiary consumers are These are also top consumers. From the grassland ecosystem, they are the top consumers. Right, decomposes. The organic matter of grasslands is decomposed by the microbes like fungi and soil bacteria. The ecosystem is structural carnapodana decomposes grasslands in the grasslands in the organic matter decomposes grassland in the fungus and Soil carnapadana bacteria enya gondana. By decomposing the organic matter, we release the minerals back into the soil, thus making the soil fertile. So organic matter na decompose in the body, we end up minerals soil lake the netriana. I mean we end up grasslands in the soil and in the fertility var the pigiana. Decompose the Inorganic or nutrient elements like sulfur, calcium, potassium, magnesium, nitrogen, etc. are found in the soil. Inorganic or nutrient elements. Nutrient elements are the same as the plants. The plants are the plants. The plants are the nutrients. That is sulfur, calcium. Potassium, Magnesium, Nitrogen, and we have to make a new one. That is the grassland in the abiyoti component. That is why organic matter like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, etc. are found derived from decomposed plants. That is why the name organic matter is carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and we have grassland ecosystem. Kana bed another decomposed plants lana decomposed plants on the varanya jirna stilithia plants. Varanya one like a vina varana jirnicha plants. Away lana carbohydrates, proteins, fats in the waking kana bed another. In Arthur the Lada and a pin name, one in him shedding yoga vada vaita mar another. Climatic factors are of extreme nature such as intense light. High temperature fluctuation, severe drought, low rainfall, fire, etc. This is the abiotic component of climatic factors. Grassland in the climate, I will tell you that intense light is near the grassland. That is the intense light. It is extreme light. It is extreme light. Near it, sunlight is in the grassland. And the high temperature fluctuations. Temperature fluctuations are down. Chella Samangal, Valla the value chewed idly. Chella Samangal chewed a corry. Temperature fluctuations. Temperature roller the Vediana, a poem, grassland in Then severe drought. Valla the value drought, viral cha, equal Pradeshing Lilkana. When Adiyam Mari Levica through one another, in Pradesh Matter and Nilkan, the whole Valar, a severe rattle of viral cha, grassland in Kanam. In a much on the low rainfall, Mariuda Alla Valar, a coroidic fire. Grassland like 
സർവ്വസാധാരണമായിട്ട് ഉണക്ക് സമയത്തൊക്കെയാണ് കാട്ട് കാട്ടുതീ എന്ന് കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടാവുമല്ല വൈൽഡ് ഫയർ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് ഫയർ പോലെ തന്നെയാണ് ഗ്രാസ് ലാൻഡിലും ഫയർ ഉണക്ക് സമയത്തൊക്കെ വരാറുണ്ട് അപ്പം ഇതൊക്കെ അവിടുത്തെ ക്ലൈമാറ്റിക് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സിനകത്ത് വരുന്നതാണ് ഇതൊക്കെയാണ് അബയോട്ടിക് കമ്പോണൻസായിട്ട് കരുതപ്പെടുന്നത്